So slip in FCC is pretty straightforward. It's only there's only the one close back plane that one has to deal with, and that's the one 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 plane. But in hexagonal close back materials, there are a number of different slip options on different planes. So I'm going to discuss the uh, three main ones, um, four main ones, right now. Let's start. Here's a hexagonal cell. What we have here is um, it's an ABA stacking, and what we have here uh, is on a basal plane. We have the option to slip by two partials, one, two, and that moves us from here to here, one, two, one, two, and in that sense, it's identical to the FCC. So slip on a basal plane in the hexagonal is identical to HCP. But we have other planes in, in, in the hexagonal lattice that are, are also are have to be considered. This one is the corrugated 101, 1 bar 1 0 plane, uh, the prism 1 plane. And it's the same Burgess vector in terms of a slip going from, from one atom position to the next, but it happens in a direction which is um, parallel to the in one plane and also the basal plane. So again, you may want to be thinking about uh, the difference between screw and edge dislocations. A screw dislocation can, can glide on this plane, which is the basal plane, and also glide on the prism plane. So there's options here for cross slip. But basically, the shear operation of a, a slip is, is a it's a fairly straightforward one and involves no intermediate um, partial positions, although there, there, there's kind of a metastable position that... No, there isn't. There's no metastable position, it's just prism slip. Um, and then the most interesting plane is the one 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 um, one oh bar one one is a pyramidal plane, and that that's one which is inclined. Um, I think I showed you a model earlier, and that the planes here that are inclined to the to the basal plane. You can see them here. We're looking along the prism pyramidal planes. So when we deal with the pyramidal plane, sequence A slip moves one atom from, gives you a lattice translation from here to here, and that's a sequence A direct, C plus A direction. Uh, you have a C up and an A across. So. Uh, in, in this case, there are three partials involved. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. In another video, so so this is kind of an interesting um, slip system because because of the uh, the three partials that are involved. And what that means, actually, because of the partials on successive planes, we have the option then for twinning on this plane. And I'll talk more about that in another video.